What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our ACC football channel. All right. So, what uh, stood out to you? Um, I'm giving credit to where people don't like to give credit to. First, I'm giving credit to the offensive line. Okay, those guys. I tell you, you're, you're a lot of 2.6 seconds. There were plays when all of the player, when all of the quarterbacks got sacked, when they were sitting in the pocket for four or five seconds. I know one time we counted six seconds. And um, so they opened up holes. The running backs look good. They opened up holes. So the first thing that stood out to me was the offensive line. And they 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 look they they you can tell they're growing. They're they're, they're still young, they're they're mixed matching them, but you can tell that they're growing and they're getting better. So that that's that's the first thing that stood out to me. The second thing that stood out to me is actually Jaron Williams, um, the way he regressed from last week to this week. Um, did not have a good game at all. He he really did not. I, I wasn't expecting that. I was I was expecting him to at least be on the same level he was on last week, and he he regressed. Um, he took a lot of sacks. Um, the one play that they called an interception fumble fumble type play by number twenty nine. They called him Rudy. I don't know his name. Um, the walk on guy, the young white guy. I think he played defensive back. He he plays defensive back. Um. I think he – I forgot who he took it from, but he was down by contact. It would have been a down play, but he ended up able to strip the ball from him. But just his hustle, his hustle there was 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 amazing. But um, that, that wasn't Jaron's fault. That play wasn't Jaron's fault. Um, he, the ball, ball got high pointed, and it got stripped once he got to the ground. So that wasn't Jaron's fault. But Jaron – Jaron had – he he had he had a, a pretty bad day um at quarterback today. Um now to me, the best quarterback of the day was was Nikoski. We'll we'll break that down a little bit, but to me he was he was sharp. But Tate Martell improved impressed me so much today. That guy, I mean, just it was a play when he broke out of the pocket, and it clearly would have been a touchdown. And the guy reached out with one hand. He, there was nobody else by him. He reached out with one hand just to touch him with one hand. Now, if he would have had to grab and wrap him up, there is no way he would have been able to grab tape. He was full speed, and he was coming at an angle. And I'm just guaranteeing you, he could barely touch him with a hand. But as soon as he touched him, they blew the blade dead. That, to me, that was like, that was a touchdown. Um, when he rolls outside the pocket, he is dangerous. He's electrified. When he rolled outside that pocket, it's, he is he had an excellent game on that first drive of the game. He drove him down the field. Got a, I think got a touchdown on the first drive. Second drive of the game, he drove down the field. Um, he hit um, Will Mallory. Um, he hit Will, Will Mallory for I think Will Mallory got the first touchdown, but I'm not mistaken. Um, then he he hit um, Michael Irvin the second for a touchdown. He just, he was amazing. But everything that I look, everything that I look, and I talked to his father after the game. I didn't know that was his father. But everything um after the everything he did was beautiful on rollouts. Him sitting in the pocket, I just think he's too short to sit in the pocket. He really can't see. When he sits in the pocket, you can tell he throws the ball high. He throws it high, trying to get it over the offensive lineman. So it it goes high and the receivers can't get to it. Because he but when he rolls outside the pocket, right or left, either way. He is he is electrifying. That kid is electrifying. He, he he is good. Interesting. So pretty much everything that you just outlined, I read earlier in the. I'll give them credit. Uh, this must be the uh, Miami Herald uh, because they pretty much said the same thing. The Tate Martell, based on Cam Underwood's analysis that uh, he brought on Wednesday night, other things that I watched, Tate Martell was awful in the last open scrimmage. Apparently, he's just fluttering balls all over the place. And and it didn't play into his hands in regards to a player because again they didn't allow uh, quarterbacks weren't live so that that doesn't allow him to use uh, his best part of his game. Uh, Jaron Williams, Nikosi Perry, as you mentioned, it sounds like Perry has not only been the best guy but he's been extremely consistent, start to finish. Every time he gets a look, anytime there's any kind of analysis, they say that he's pretty much the best quarterback. He is, and I was going to wait to break him down last. Um, what I what I like from him is I have seen a few plays from him that were that weren't great plays. They were kind of they they were, they weren't they were decent plays. They weren't great plays, but they were great plays for him. 
And the reason why I say they were great players for him is he took touch off balls. He took he took some of the fire. He put he took some of the fire out of the ball. When though the little out routes, when he throws too hard, when the receiver just, either you gonna he's gonna go through their chest and kill him, or it's gonna go through their hands and just can't catch it. And I watched him. He, he's like he's studying it, like he's thinking about it. But the ball placement was still there, and it was a soft touch, and they were able to turn up field and um and get some yards and get some first downs. I think the one thing about all three quarterbacks is they don't know how to really they don't know how to lead receivers on crossing routes and on little out routes. They can't lead the receiver. The receiver seems to always be turning for the ball. I think their ball placement is going to have to get better at that on either intermediate and short routes. So that's all three. That's all three quarterbacks that I saw that from. But. Perry Perry has NFL talent. I mean, it's just he has he has he has unworld talent. He is just for people to if anybody in the stands, and I said the same thing last year this morning, but if anybody in the stands just sit there and watch Perry, he has all world talent. He had horrible coaching. And when you have horrible coaching, it will it will destroy your career. Dan Enos is the guy. This guy here, you can see demands perfection. He demands you 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 learn how to play football. You learn how to play quarterback. And if you look at all three quarterbacks, even even with Jaron regressing this week, um, he still threw some brilliant balls. I just think it got kind of mental with him early, you know. But the guy's good, and and he knows all all all, all hats off to that guy. Man. He he has these guys. I mean, to watch Mark to watch. Nikosi stay consistent and get a little bit better every week. And then watch Tate, watch Tate jump the way he jumped. You know, and even though I say um, Jaron didn't have a good game, a bad game, but it still it wasn't like a five interception game. You know what I'm saying? Like that, it was just he had some off throws and see, like he was thinking a little too much. But that's what you, that, he's making those guys think. And that's making them grow. So you, he have a bad week this week, but I can guarantee you Jaron to bounce back because those, that's what that's what that's what uh, Coach Danny Ninos is um, putting in those guys' head is you have to be a leader. Zoe's on the line with us. It's Alonzo one two one nine. I can't imagine that anybody watching on the live stream is not aware of Alonzo one two one nine. But if you're not Miami fan or otherwise, you go to his channel on YouTube, Alonzo one two one nine. If you're watching uh, after we record and post, which hopefully thousands will, if you're not aware, again. I encourage you get over to Alonzo one two one nine on YouTube. So you pretty Tell much George broke down. I got thousand dollars. Tell George I got ten thousand dollars that Florida won't beat us one hundred and ninety. Tell him I got ten thousand dollars. I got ten thousand dollars on that. On that, I got ten hundred and nine. I got ten thousand dollars. He comes up with a different score about three times a day. George does. A hundred and I got I got a hundred. I got my. I put my house on it. I'll, I'll take Miami in the 99. I'll take Miami in the <laughs> eight and a half right now. Miami's not losing to Florida. They're not going to lose the game, heard, period? We're not losing to Florida. I don't think we lose a game this year. I'm not, I, I said that. I said that. I said that. I said that before. I said that at the end of last year. Once we hired, once we hired, once we hired uh, Manny Diaz, I said we're not losing a game this year. And I, and I stick by that because – there's really only two teams on our schedule that, can, that that really can beat us. And I mean yep. by not a game this year, I'm talking about regular season. Yep. And that's Florida and Florida State, and I don't think either one of them is better. Yep. Florida is living off the same thing Miami lived off for two years ago when we went 10-2. They're living off a BS schedule. Game that they definitely could have lost that they won, like South Carolina. Game that they definitely could have lost. And they weren't – they, they're not as good. All right. They were so good that they were having they, – they brought they – brought, they brought former players – I heard that they brought former players into their spring game, and and allowed them to catch touchdown passes and stuff like that. Serious? That what we doing down there, damn Mullen? Okay. With, I'm ready for you. Manny Diaz is all business. He's all business. Thank you for watching this video. If you are an ACC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in ACC football, keep it right here.